Uh, welcome to the uh, Moonstone uh, PatmCon booth. Um, before I get into some quite big announcements that we've got to make this weekend, I just wanted to remind everyone that there is 10% uh, off uh, for this weekend only. Uh, the um, discount code will be on screen now if you are watching this on uh, our PatmCon Discord uh, channel. If you are watching it on YouTube, you won't see it, I'm afraid. Um, but uh, we also do have available to all our starter bundle, uh, which is back this weekend, which is a starter set, a rule book, uh, and two monster boxes, which is at a ridiculously good price. And uh, if you're a PatmCon attendee, you'll get 10% off that as well. Um, so the main purpose of this video is to explain to everyone what we've been up to um, lately. Uh, it's been a while since I put out a video. So the main thing is i uh, been working on an expansion book. Uh, we have our current rule book, and this is a new book. It's not a replacement, a new edition, but uh, it's an expansion called The Arising. Uh, it's 176 pages uh, currently, which is a significant increase in size on our uh, previous rule book. Um, and I'm pleased to say it's around about 90% complete at the moment. I'm really proud of it. Uh, it's packed full of art and photography. I've had a lot more time uh, to, to lovingly devote to it this time, um, so it's even better than our first book in my opinion. Uh, and the narrative is really starting to develop. We've got a fantastic uh, new writer, Susie, uh, who's taken a lot of ownership um, of, of the storyline and it starts to answer a lot of questions about the Moonstones and why they're important and who the wizards are. So for the fluff fans, you're really going to appreciate this book. The other really important thing about this book is uh, we are bringing in for the first time a campaign system to Moonstone. So I really wanted the Moonstone campaign system to be as innovative as the core rules. So I've been playtesting now uh, so many versions for about the last two years, um, which has been a bit of a challenge with COVID, making face-to-face uh, -face playtest games uh, difficult to organise. But thanks to the fantastic uh, Tabletop Simulator mod, um, it's all been possible. So, um, a little bit to explain about the campaign. Um, you are, as a player in the campaign, you are one of the wizards in the Tower of Grommel. And you are um, amassing power uh, by assembling a troop of characters to go out and collect moonstones on your behalf, uh, as well as... Uh, achieving some side agendas and, and some um, political scheming. So the way that works is in between your game nights you have uh, what's called a machinations phase. Um, so you can keep the excitement going all week um, and uh, it adds some intrigue. Basically you can uh, support and sabotage other players in the campaign and you're, you're kind of effectively gambling on their success in their games. Um, and it also works in that way as a rubber banding mechanic because we've all played campaign games where one player wins their game, they gain an advantage and they begin to sort of uh, snowball away. That's the last thing that I wanted. So this machinations phase encourages you to uh, lend your support to players who aren't doing so well um, because you get additional rewards if, you, if, if they win their games and uh, to sabotage players that are doing well. The more support you get, basically, the more events and agenda cards you get to play in your game. So that's how that works. Um, talking of events and agenda cards, we have now expanded that uh, list of cards out to 70. So it's a huge increase. Um, there's also uh, 30 new uh, upgrade cards so that you can actually progress your characters as the campaign goes on. They can get a little bit better and gain additional abilities. Um, if you are interested in finding out a little bit more about this or get a bit of a taster, there is a story all about the wizards um, uh, in the digital swag bag for Pat McCon. And there's also uh, a handful, not the full range by any means, but just a handful of extra events and agenda cards. Um, I know a lot of players have been saying for quite a long time since our previous Kickstarter that there's no event and agenda cards for Lesher Vault. Um, now there are, uh, they've got an equal share. And we've done an awful lot of uh, awful lot of playtesting around those cards now to, to balance them all out. So um, check out the digital swag bag. There's also some artwork that you can use as a wallpaper for your phone or your laptop in there. Um, we've got a, a big, big additional increase in the amount of artwork, which is fantastic because that's what I uh, love reinvesting our 
incoming uh, after miniatures. It's the second most important thing that I enjoy doing. Um, so um, the other, the main announcement is uh, Moonstone is coming back to Kickstarter. Um, the Kickstarter will include this new book, The Arising, uh, and the card deck, which will be well over a hundred new cards to expand your play. And it will also include a Kickstarter exclusive limited edition model, uh, Diana Enraged, who appears in one of our special scenarios. The new book, I think, has at least 10 new scenarios to play as well. Um, so this Diana model can be used in that special scenario, or you can just use her as a regular Diana. She's on the same size base, so um, it's an alternate model if you wish. Um, provisional date for the Kickstarter is the 5th of June, although there, that, that may be finalised closer to the time. Also, coming up this year, we've got a number of uh, new troop box releases. So the next one out will be the Malachite Mystics, which is a Leshevolt box featuring some fawns and one fairy. Um, we are also expanding the Dominion. On uh, We're bringing Dominion humans, finally, into the game. Some people know about that. They've been teased in the past. So we've got the Masquerade. Um, and we've also got a box called Black Powder which is an expansion for our pirate fans. Um, and finally, uh, towards the tail end of the year, you can expect to see Vespa, who is a fairy mounted on a giant bane bug. So she'll be a 40 mil base, a monster-sized uh, fairy, which will be very cool. Um, many of you may know that we have started working with a new caster. We've been working with them now for um, approximately a year, in fact, and uh, hopefully a lot of people have seen what an incredible increase in quality the new casts are. Um, they really are absolutely fantastic. There's just normally one single feed into the miniature. Uh, they're, they're super clean. Uh, I really couldn't be happier with the quality. It's, I'm really, really proud of, of the miniature quality uh, these days. Um, it does mean that we are going to be introducing a small price increase um, because the new caster is more expensive. Um, so starting from the 1st of April uh, you will notice some small increases, uh, approximately £3 on a troop box. What this does mean if you're watching this video during Patmacon is with your 10% Patmacon discount uh, you're in effect if you buy this weekend getting a 30% discount because the price increase will come in immediately after this convention. So um, other news, I uh, mentioned it briefly earlier on, there is a, a really really good tabletop simulator um, for uh, for Moonstone which you know is obviously essential in these Covid times when so many of us have been struggling to actually get to our games clubs but you can still play Moonstone and there are in fact if you join the Moonstone players group regular Wednesday night open to all uh, games available of Moonstone at the moment organised by Dicing with Life which are absolutely lovely lovely people and you should definitely check that out. Um, we also have uh, coming this year perhaps in one to two months time some uh, neoprene gaming mats so these are sidebars uh, that you can organise your cards on really really beautiful artwork uh, it helps to show you know which characters have activated by um, by sliding the card up on the appropriate position on the mat. It's also got space for your uh, card decks or your event and agenda cards if you're using those. Um, we are continuing to develop and I'm hoping to be able to release uh, this year some sexy new Moonstone dice. That's something I've been working on now for quite a number of years. We're trying to get that opalescent uh, magical effect that you might have seen in some of our photography um, those dice and the photographs were originally produced in our first Kickstarter in opalite glass, but they were so expensive, um, we couldn't, and, and also fragile, they, they crack, we couldn't uh, offer them uh, as a permanent item, but we think we found a solution now to, to get a very, very similar effect in resin. So I'm hoping to release some premium dice this year. And uh, finally, we're working on um, a graphic novel. Um, a lot of our fans are really starting to show a big interest in the narrative side. You're going to absolutely love our, our expansion book, The Arising, because it's incredibly packed with awesome narrative. But we're going to take that even further and, and hopefully produce a graphic novel towards the end of this year as well. So loads and loads of exciting, exciting things. Um, by all means, if you have any questions, ask them on our uh, Discord 
uh, channel and I'll be very happy to answer them. Thanks a lot.